Anyways, as we can see on the team of RSG, they banned Akali, Tristana, and Yorick. And the team on the right banned Shavana, Morgana, and Urgot. So, and Olaf is the first pick for All-Star this game. He's not, you know, I, how do you feel about the Olaf pick already? Um, I haven't seen him on, on Olaf. Um, so far he's been told to play Hecarim and he hasn't been successful with that. But like once he was on his comfort picks, like Shivana, he did really well. And, um, and I'm assuming Olaf is a comfort pick for him too. And I feel pretty good about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have the Lucian pick coming out for, I'm assuming, Josh. I think Josh is either playing mid or ADC. We'll see where he's going. And there is the Seraphine pick for V, I'm believing. I think she's going to go support, maybe? She's going to either go support or mid, too. Like, there's a lot of flexibility on their team. We have the Jin oh. for Aichu. And we have the Nasus pick that's looking to come out for Volkron, oh. which he locks in. And then we got so, the final pick on Seraphine is, or V is subbing in for Loki, right? Yes. And Loki was playing jungle? Yes, he was. And speaking of jungle, it looks oh. like Justin is going to be jungling this game because he's bringing out the Jarvan pick. I must not oh. Not sure how I feel about that. Why do um, you say that? Justin being, Justin being in the jungle role, he... I'm I'm not saying he will he won't do good on it, but I feel like he could be doing better in the mid lane. You feel like you'd rather him go to his main role? I mean, to be yeah. fair, like since Loki's their only jungler or mainly like the bowling person that consistently jungles, it's kind of hard if you were to try to put somebody else on the team instead of him. So I believe it would have been really hard to be honest with you. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It is. No, it is. Um, we have the. Leona next from DA. Leona and Vagar being banned out. Um, from RSG, they banned out the Cho'Gat. And they they got one more ban out. Well, we'll see who they're going to take out. They don't want... So far, they're like it's leaving to be the... Oh, there's the Zoe ban. That belongs to Sky right there. So we'll see what Sky plays in this. Um, his main three champions are banned out, which are Kali, Zoe, and Vagar. So I wonder what Sky is going to be looking to play this game. I'm also wondering what Taco will probably bring out, which he is selecting right now. There's a Malphite in it. He's looking to probably pick the Malphite in this game, which he does. Ekium is up next, selecting his pick. So far from what you're seeing for the, the teams, who who looks like more favorable to you? Um, Just because of the whole mix-up with um, Loki leaving and... They're not being a jungle and Justin having to sub in. I think they're at a severe disadvantage. And the Cho'Gath being taken away from Taco. Um, I'm kind of worried about how they're going to deal with that Nasus too. Especially with the Lulu. <laughs> that's going to Oh, there is the Lulu there on top of that. Yeah, that's going to be really dangerous for uh, for DA right there. Now, we've got the final pick, Caleb. Who has been performing so well after taking over when Papa decided to... DC from the whole tournament. Um, we have, we're gonna see what Caleb is gonna bring here. They didn't ban the Anivia. He could bring out Anivia maybe again. And there's his main champion mid lane, the Vladimir. Oh, um, man. That's his best champion from what I know, mid lane. That is the best champion he can bring out. And he decides to pull it out for this game. And it looks, it's looking really spicy. I love it. RSG never... does have a very strong scaling late game or team competition right now. Do they? So let's see what Josh for DA. Let's see what he picks. This is the final pick of the of the game right here. I got one second, and they Ooh. locked in finally. Victor, alive. You know, making time for everybody. So I appreciate him. And again, I appreciate everybody for uh, for making it to the game. You know, when we needed it mostly as well. Um, unlike before, I have usually left the 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 map not being able to be seen. But for this game, I want everybody to see what's going on the map, on the mini map, which is on the bottom right, so you guys can see what's going on. Um, looks like both junglers are looking to start bot side. Actually, never mind. Looking, oh, look, if we look at All Star on the top, he's in the top river right now. I think he's in the brush right there. Are they looking to invade here? Or no, they're just stacking the bush. They got caught out right now by the gym, which is Aichu right now.
All-Star is looking to back. I think he's going to go to his bottom side. Oh, they're looking to invade here. I think this is going to be spicy right now. Justin is leading the charge right now. There's no wars. They only was able to see them. There's the Lulu. She saw him. I think they're going to back away from this. They warded the top side jungle, as we can see from RSG. They ended up warding DA's top side. And it looks like they're going to try to maybe steal the red buff. And if they do this... Do you think they can get this? Um, I don't think they are going to try. It looks like they're just going to go back to blue buff and then pass the upside. Well, here we go. This is the game pretty much. Yeah, they're not going to try it, but Olaf is going to start the top side of his jungle while Justin is going to start on the bottom side of the jungle getting a leash from his team. They still have two wards there. They have both, they have both teams ward there. Justin's going to skip the Gromp. He's... Um, it's kind of a slow game right now. None of these lanes have, like, enough hard CC to get a gank off. Well, there's the there's the Olaf game again, but this time Tapu doesn't have any flash. There's the Q. They're going to slow him down. He's going to try to pop as much pot as he can. They might try to dive him here. There's, there's going to be the dive. There's the first blood to the Nasus, but Nasus is going to die as well. On top of that, I think there was another, there was a flash burned out from Nasus as well. Yep. As if um, Olaf got it, because he can actually roam around and use his advantage. That's true. Wait, is is Justin looking to, to, to get this, uh, to get a dragon in? He's trying to sneak it. He has vision. He has prowl from both his, from bot lane and also mid lane is hovering around there, so... He's gonna see, he's gonna sneak this dragon in right now. I think he's gonna get it. Olaf is just coming back. If Olaf goes on his Krog, which most likely, oh, there's uh, the Victor roaming up to help. There's everybody roaming up to, to the drag to get this. Trying to make this dragon their win condition, which will be huge. Another thing I noticed is with DA is that they always usually get the first dragon. And here they do it again. Coming in, thank you for watching us. Uh, Taco's gonna hit six here before the Nasus. Uh, Olaf is bot side, he's looking. I think he might be looking to gank there. He's waiting in the try right there. He's waiting for the wave to push in. They don't have vision there, so they don't see. V is going to push up. There's the slope from the Lulu. Josh is going to dash in, which is probably going to be horrible. There's the Polymorph from the Lulu on the on the Lucian. There's the Sun from the Jin, the Exhaust. Josh is going to have to flash, but then there's another flash from Olaf. There's the Ignite, there's the Heal, and everything is going to be burned out. Nothing's going to come from it. Wait, there's the flash from the Jin from his fourth shot. Doesn't get the kill on Lucian at all. That was just Beautiful a double snare by the Seraphine there. Oh, there's a Jarvis. He's going to come in. He's going to kill Olaf. He's going to get all stars. So there we go. Justin's going to get the kill on him. Taking advantage of the burn flash and everything. Justin is going to be up a level right now. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I give props to Sky for that. I give him so much credit on that end. Yep. I mean, the thing that I've noticed is that Sky was like pretty good mechanically, but. I think he struggles in the macro play, but that doesn't matter. Wait, look at here, there's the Jarvan coming back again. Seraphine's gonna flash in. There's the Polymorph, but then there's the Jarvan ulti. Josh is gonna come in and they're gonna take down the Lulu. Josh is gonna get a kill one to three on the scoreboard. DA taking the lead there with a 1,000 gold diff. Wait, here we go. There's a fighting going on between the Victor and the Vladimir. Nothing's gonna happen here. I think they're just gonna back off. He just doesn't want him to take off that ward. Um, yeah, the big here... difference here is that um, Justin is getting the punishing the Olaf for ganking top and then taking out his bot side. There's a huge. There's kind of. There's kind of something there. It looks like Olaf is going to be. I mean, the Jarvan's going to be coming soon. There's the Nasus ulti, the Wither. Taco's really low. He has no mana to do anything for this. He could be in trouble. Wait, but Jarvan is here with him. He's going to. Oh, the Nasus is going to flash forward, trying to kill Taco. Taco's so low. He's going to kill him. Jarvan's gonna be holding out his lane. Taco overstepping there, coming back. Should I just stick in the back? Olaf is near here again. He's looking to regank bot lane, and he's gonna have he's gonna be able to have prowl. There's the stun from the Jin. There's the flash from the Lulu. Lulu ulti herself. There's the there's the Lucian's ulti. There's gonna be polymorph on the Seraphine. All Star trying to take down. There's the charm from Seraphine, but there's nothing she's gonna do about it. Olaf is gonna use his ulti. He's gonna take down Seraphine. V is gonna be dead from this fight. But Lucian's gonna be able to probably get away from this. They're gonna shove out this wave, and it looks like he's gonna pop the hero for bot side. Try to get, uh, try to get this going. But Lucian um, still survived. Victor is down him. here. It's a weird angle of helping. 
Yeah, Vladimir is looking like to roam down. He doesn't, uh, he probably might be clearing and getting some vision onto here. Um, there's the Herald getting two plays off of it. They're looking to pry out this dragon right now, but everybody's coming. They have, to, they burnt a lot of things. Right now, there's a TP from Taco. There's gonna be a fight here. Jarvis gonna go in. He's gonna go ulti on the Vladimir. Vladimir is gonna ulti out. Taco with the ulti in on the two men. He's gonna take down Ulster. Caleb trying to run away. They're gonna stop him right here. They're gonna take down Vladimir. And now they're gonna take they're gonna turn on the Nasus, but maybe they go back on the, the dragon, which they are. What a huge ulti and TP from Taco. That's what we're talking about. That was so well played. <laughs> That was actually clean. I liked it. That's another dragon for DA. <laughs> that is so clean. Taco, I give him so much credit for that. It's another taco diff. <laughs> it's a taco different. Impressive. Seraphine alone is just so annoying to deal with. Mm -hmm. There's topside. Looks like Justin is looking to gank, but there's a ward there, so he's gonna be spotted, maybe, unless he has Oracle. Wait, Taco's gonna ulti in! He's gonna start the engage! There's the Nasus ulti, but he's gonna have to do with a 2v1. There's the Jarvan ulti. They're gonna take down Volcron. There's the Nasus picks, and it looks like Caleb almost could have died there as well. We're looking back there. Look at him. He's, he's low HP. This Victor pick is looking really annoying as well. Looks like there's gonna be another back from the other team as well. Seraphine's gonna step on Jin's little plan. There we go. There's the Rue. They're gonna cut out, but there's the Lulu ulti. But are they gonna be able to? There's a flash from Josh. He's gonna oh. take down Lulu, which is clutch. Here we go. There's gonna be the Jin ulti. He's gonna shut down. Olaf is looking around. He's gonna be coming around. He wants to get this Seraphine. There's the flash from Olaf. There's the flash from V right there as well. There's the the smite there. He's gonna be taken down. He's gonna take down V off this fight. Bot lane and everything is looking like such. I feel like they've just been burning sums back to back every moment. <laughs> Where they're placing and I think if I'm right taco has TP he's ready to join in if they need him to they're priming this drag They really want this. I think especially if they get sold even with compared to the other teams late game scaling There's gonna be the TP from the Nasus from the ward there Victor's gonna drop down his stun I don't think they're gonna oh, there's the Sun from there. They're gonna want to turn on the Nasus There's the Seraphine charm three man taco's gonna join in with the OT. They're gonna take down two Nasus is out the fight Olaf is out the fight they're still chasing, they're poking them away. V making her presence. You know, her poke, the charm, the Seraphine is so strong. They're gonna get this infernal drag too. Three drags up, fight a nine. Beautiful chaining of ults right there. Seraphine all into the Malphite ult and then Jarvan. It was I mean, that was just horrible for the Arshi side. I mean, Jarvan's got him, and uh, Olaf is gonna get away, and also Taco missed the ulti there on the Olaf. They're looking to take this, to take this Harrow. They're really, look at the, the Victor and the Jarvan. They're so strong right now. They wanna, All-Star wants to try to contest for this, but it's so hard, especially with the Victor blocking him off. And their team is just, they're so, those three are so strong right now. They're like the staple. Oh my God, there's the, oh, <laughs> to Justin, the ulti in. They're gonna be able, but Justin's gonna get shut down. And this fight is gonna look like it's gonna turn heads right now. Taco's gonna get taken down. And also, it looks like there's the flash from Sky. He's trying to get out, but he's gonna take down Sky right there. And now Seraphine's gonna get caught off. She's gonna die too. This fight, they get the Harrow, but DA just got their whole world just shun out right there. Where Illusion is still bot side currently, and they have Proud to probably get this turret mid. DA definitely didn't have enough damage for that play. It was a good one, but um, just no follow-up from Lucian being bought and then Seraphine not being there. I think it's they, uh, yeah, they, I think they got probably too greedy there on that end. Drag is also gonna come up. This is Infernal Soul, if I'm right, which will be really huge for DA. Also, looking, let, let's look here. Olaf is gonna come behind them. They're pretty much split right now. Oh no, and Sky's gonna get taken out this fight. Jarvan is gonna, gonna be able to probably not escape from this. There's the Flash, there's the Seraphine ulti, there's the Lucian ulti as well, taking down the Vladimir almost quickly. Justin's trying to look to get away. There's the ulti from Jin. Can he get him with Lulu still on top of him? He dodges everything, but Lulu might be able to take him down, and then she does. Oh. This is turning heads right now. This ain't looking good. They got caught out early. Sky getting caught off from the Olaf going around them. Dragon's almost up too. 30 death on the uh, the 30 time on the death timer right now for Justin. Um, it kind of looks like RSG will be scaling um, out of control now. Just because they're losing these fights. 
and they're getting really bad fights too. There's still the hero up from Justin, he still has that. You know, watching them, that was just, they got caught off pretty poor right there. Lucian is also a little bit overextended right now. There's the flash from the Vladimir. He's going, he wants to go all in on this, and there he goes. Vladimir is going to take down Lucian. Looks like RSG is coming back, 2,000 gold up right now. 12 to 10, they're coming into this game now. They're, like you said, they're scaling now, which is mm -hmm. really scary right now for DA. Olaf is waiting on the bot side. I think he's going to be waiting to try to look to look to collapse. Everybody's grouping. There's going to be there's going to be a huge fight for this drag right now. If DA can secure it, they're going to be in a good spot having the soul. Nas is going to walk up first. There's the ulti from Taco. There we go. And now the Seraphine ulti is going to come in. She didn't owe anybody. Wait, I think she missed it. There's the polymorph right now. Jarvis is going to go on him. There's uh Caleb is on the back line. He's going to take down Sky and the Jin's going to be able to pick off everybody from the back. This is turning heads right now. There's another shutdown from Jar Jarvan going to be able to shut down Vladimir. There's a double kill from the Jin. Only Jarvan just that is Malphite anyway. Off, though. The Malphite off. If I think of from right, Seraphine didn't charm anybody. There's the stun. There's going to be the slow, and looks like Justin's going to be. There's the flash from the. And then the Gale Force from the Jin. He's going to take down. Justin, oh, no. and now they get RSG gets another drag. They're up four thousand gold. No, three thousand gold now. They're rotating towards the Baron. They want this. It's looking pretty bad <laughs> for DA. You know, DA has such a strong lead, and now it's turning heads now. After getting after taking that bad fight, at the Herald, then getting caught out mid with Sky and then Justin there. Missing. I'm, I'm pretty sure Seraphine missed her ulti there. I, I did not see it, but I don't doubt it. Malphite's here. They're, all, they're all ready. They want this. Jarvan is not with them, sadly, though. He just came up. There's the Vladimir. He's so strong right now. They can only do so much. There's the Rude. They're going to be able to get this Baron, I believe. There's nothing they could do about it. They have a ward on it. Vlad is trying to take out V. Taco's going to ult in, but they're still going to get the Baron, RSG, and Vladimir is going to be able to wipe out DA. He's going to take face tank all of Lucian's ulti, but he's still going to be able to survive from this. Caleb is coming up. He's there scaling. <laughs> the Jin has already bounty. Everybody on RSG has a bounty. Caleb is looking to dive there. Look at that health, and there we go. There's a Jarvan ulti on the Vladimir. There's going to be the stopwatch. He's going to die, but Nasus is going to be able to probably clean this up with Lulu, and there we go. That's the ace. Jin is split pushing. He's looking to take the mid tower. It looks like game. Honestly, DA can't come back from this. What a what a strong start from DA, and now the scaling coming up from this is just coming right now. Honestly, Justin's gonna step on. Well, look at that. Another thing. Look at Caleb. He's in the back. He's ready. Yeah, he's trying to flank. I think it's going to be really deadly. And also look at the minions in, uh, coming, the super minions approaching the base. Right now, let's move this. Let's see. No one's, no one, I mean, right now, no one's starting the, this is the most awkward spot. Oh, there we go. Everybody's going to move out. They're going to try to turn on the victor, but Taco's not going to be able to get the ulti because uh, Vladimir's going to pull away. So there's no ulti from the Malphite right now. They're trying to poke them away right now. Jarvan's starting the drag, but he's trying to back away. There's the Victor flash. He's going in on them. And now, oh wait, the Victor's going to stop. Watch. V is going to try to ulti all of them, but he, she can't do anything. They're going to get wiped. RSG's taking a strong fight. And now Justin with the GA is going to try to come back in, but looks like he's going to probably... There's the Polymorph from there, and he's going to get taken down from this. That's game. Or it should be. What a... What a... I guess they're not going to go for it. <laughs> Wait, oh, there's are. the TP from the Nasus right now. They're going for it. They want they're gonna get the inhib at least. Victor is bot side, he's not with them. Nasus is split pushing. Oh no, V's looking to get caught out by this Vlad. There's the ult, there's the flash from V. She's trying to run away. Victor's gonna ulti in. Taco's gonna try to do something, but he can. 
Caleb is going to take down V. And now Caleb is so strong right now. Look at him. There's the Lulu ulti on him. There, Lucian does no damage to this Olaf. There's the ulti. There's a stopwatch from Caleb. But Justin's going to still try to go back in. They might take down. There we go. Sky's going to take down Caleb. They're trying to take down All-Star right now. There's the Jin ulti. He's gonna, they're all going to get poked down from the back line. There we go. Nas is going to get a turret. He's still split pushing. And now they're just going to wipe them. And that's a cleanup with Sky being the last one left. Nasus was not even needed for that fight. That's how strong Vladimir is leaking. And I think, I think this could be ends. I mean, Sky is going to try. If they get Sky off here, that's going to be it. But Sky's going to get a stun. There's the turret for the Nexus. They have Nasus here. There's still death timers at 30 seconds around there. Nasus is now here. He's here. There's the turret cleaning. And I think everyone's back here right now. What? They have Why no turret. <laughs> just, just hit the nexus, please. Infernal Soul is gonna come up, and RSG is gonna take it. They're gonna get even more stronger, and with, considering their their scaling already is strong, but Infernal Soul on top of that, they are poised to just win this game. They could just go down. They're rotating to the Baron. They're gonna get this Baron. I think they're just gonna run it down mid, and there is just nothing that DA could probably do about this. And this is gonna be a closed one for this. Come on, man. This is just overkill. <laughs> oh, they're flexing their mastery. The PM is insane. <laughs> no. Mastery is being flexed all around. Malphite and Jarvan hovering over. They're going to try to look to steal this, but Vladimir is coming from around. There's the Hectech protobelt. He's going to go all in. Justin is going to go in. He's going to try to steal it, but they can't. And here we go. DA is going to get wiped from this fight. Justin is going to get revived into a crowd of RSG. Vladimir picking up Seraphine and he's going for this Lucian. They want the ace. Sky is trying to hover around, but he's not going to be able to do nothing. And there's the surrender. RSG has won the VLC championship 2021. They're going to take it for everything. Coming back 2-0, tying the series 2-2, and winning finally 2-3, winning the whole thing. RSG, congratulations. Monkey. Monkey. Y'all suck that. <laughs> that was so bad. Well, any, no, anyways, welcome. Page. Welcome, RSG. You guys are the winner of the 2021 VLC Championship. Congratulations to you Yay. guys. Yay. You know, you know, I want to hear... <laughs> I want to hear this. I'm fucking rich. <laughs> you know, congratulations to you guys. Yo, I can pay off my student loans. <laughs> I can't you know, shut up. <laughs> you know, I, you know, you guys were down 2-0 in the beginning. How do you guys feel? I want, you know, either Caleb or All-Star to talk about it. But you guys were down 2-0. And even in this game, you guys were, you guys started off rough. And you guys came back so hard into this. Hey, How do you guys feel? It's, it's all about the scaling. It's all all we have to do is sit back and scale. See, I don't know what you mean by sit down Sit back and stack. As far as I'm aware, I never lost. <laughs> also, also, I just to say, like, wow! Also, wow! Say, one of the two games that we lost it was because of like champ select. It was like champ select thing. Like yeah, we didn't realize that. We oh yeah, I was the. That was just dumb. We'll, we'll call it. Yeah, we got. We won a combo, but we got it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's go. The comeback you know, is hey, real. Everyone, you guys, you guys, exactly. you guys, you guys did an amazing comeback into this, and I applaud you guys for it. You know, you did it for the content, which I appreciate. We had a lot of people yeah, watching. You're welcome. You know, hey, you that, that up. Yeah. yeah. But you know, each of you guys are gonna receive um after after you know the stream is done and everything. Each of you guys are gonna receive fifteen dollars, so you guys could buy whatever skin and whatever champion you guys want for yourself. Yeah. Yourself, you want. Let's buy feed. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know, thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for being part of this, and you know. Um, doing well and all this stuff and you know you guys did you guys did amazing the comeback was real you know being down from 2-0 going up to 2-3 Caleb you came in and just did you made a whole flip for this team but even then you guys all did well you guys all performed well all right I just want to say I just want to thank Alex for like setting all this up yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Round, 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 round of applause for Alex no. honestly. <laughs> nah, honestly, you know what all, you know all, what all, you know what? That actually made me. You got. You guys made me red. Honestly. Uh, <laughs> nah. Thank. You. Nah. Cause I'm gonna be honest. I was stressed in the beginning when. Uh. When. 
uh, DA wasn't coming and I was like, damn, we're gonna have to postpone and everything. But you know, I, you know, that honestly means a lot. Thank you guys for, you know, for that. I appreciate it. And you know what? Um, you know, I love you guys, you know, thank you for being part of this. And I'm happy, you know, you guys go celebrate happy, you know, go be the winner. So you guys can go back into your channel, go into your VC channel. I'll see you guys later, but congrats to you guys. You guys are the 2021 VLC winners. Let's yeah. go. Nice. We get like a trophy Yay. or a plaque or something. No, 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 we get fifteen dollars in uh fifteen dollars in, in a um, special role, and you guys will be thank you. on the hall yeah, of yeah, fame. Yeah, yeah. You guys will be listed as the we'll hall of famers role. in this. So you guys can go on ahead, go Heck into yeah. your go into your VC, and you know we'll see you guys later. You know we again, great performance, love you guys, and you guys can go. You guys can go ahead and go. Bye. Uh, yeah. See ya. Yeah. I'm watching. Uh, you can. You gotta get out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that was. I didn't expect that. Honestly, I didn't expect them to thank me. And also, thank you, Bree, for saying that. But you know, I, I, I appreciate everybody. Um, I appreciate everybody for that. And you know what? This was a great, a great um uh, tourney, pretty much. I'm happy that they they enjoy themselves. And you know, I think we're gonna take a look at um. I think we're going to interview DA for a little bit and ask how they're feeling and stuff. And we're going to bring in Justin right now. Uh, let's see if Justin's going to be here. Justin, are you here? Hello? Yes, Hello, I am Justin. here. Um, you know, we congratulated right now uh, RSG for winning the whole thing. And, you know, now we oh, got yeah, to interview congrats you. Congrats to them. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> you know, but, you know, what, you know, what's, you know, how do you guys feel? You know, you can tell me. I'm like, how do you feel? Uh, about you know, um, so we, we, our, our thought process with this, we, we went for a huge uh, engage comp again. Um, and with that, we always had that disadvantage of getting outscaled. And when we saw their team comp, they had a Nazis, Olaf, and Val, we knew that in order for us to win the game, we had to to really push for aggression and, and kind of curb stomp them, you know, in the early games, which we did. Um, you know, obviously with my high mechanical and macro genius as a... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, but then we realized that if we do end up losing one fight, then they would just scale out of control, and then that's exactly what happened. Um, that I don't want to blame a, a single person for how that fight was a loss, but I will say, due to lack of focus and sure. lack of decision making, uh, there was an engage on a champ that we did not really want to engage on. Um, and after that engage went in, we lost the fight, and that's when their uh, snowball started. So, you know, our early, we've played phenomenal. Uh, I had to congratulate my team. But they, they all played really well. I was, yeah, obviously, they, they would they have did. to. If, if, you know, I'm the jungler, they're going to have to. Cause, you know, you know. So, they were playing really well. Everyone played phenomenal. Even even Sky against uh, Caleb, who's playing really well. He did, and we talked about that during the game, yeah. which we saw. He played, you know, he played consistent throughout the whole thing. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, he did his best. And you know what? I I'm proud mm -hmm. of him as much as he, as he could have done, especially in a matchup that... You know, it's more uh, towards heavily the sides one pretty exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah, so I mean, everyone played the best as they could, but it was just after one team fight, we knew it was kind of game over. Um, unless we were able to steal a drag and we just could not, we weren't able to get that last soul, you mm -hmm. know. But, uh, because I know if we got that, that would have helped a lot with the heal reduck and and helped a yeah, lot with course. our full engaged team. But we probably would have won off of a, a, off of soul, which we were playing for. On that last drag fight, man, that last drag fight cost us. And then, um, yeah, it just kind of snowballed under control. We just couldn't get back in the game. And then, yeah, it was game over. Got you. And you know what? We we congratulate you guys. You guys put up a great performance going up 2-0, having, you know, mm -hmm. a strong pretty much. And I'm, I'm proud of, like, again, being with you guys since uh, October around there, watching these guys play, watching them improve over time. And I saw a lot of it. And, you know, I'm very proud of what you guys did and how everybody played, especially Sky and Taco. Mm -hmm. um you know i know on short notice you had to play jungle because loki couldn't make it and v had to fill in but you know overall i'm very proud of you guys and i'm happy to see that you know there were some you guys did you know you guys did great you know even then like you guys pulled off some plays that i wasn't ready for and i was proud of tony can also you know vouch for that you know there were some sick plays mm -hmm. early oh yeah the, i'm telling you the pre-20 we had it we had we had the pre-20 in the bag yeah. it was but the pre-20 it was just that one team fight that kind of lost and then uh yeah it was yeah but even then i'm i'm still very proud of you guys for how far you guys came and you know you guys did so well into the whole thing and you know mm -hmm. i can't say much other than like you know you guys just did you guys did the best you guys you guys did fantastic thank and you, you know you. we appreciate you for being here thank you for you and your team 
making time for us coming in here and you know doing doing this with us and you know being patient with everything you know we appreciate it again we love you guys and you know the audience loved it so <laughs> Maybe maybe next year. Maybe next year you'll win. Yeah, next year, yeah. Next Give me year. better maybe next year. Uh, but you know, yeah, 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 yeah. The, but you know, GGs. you know, yeah, GG's. You guys did the best you guys can. And you know, I'll leave you back to you know to the others. You guys do what you guys do for the end of this. And you know, hey, how, how, how how's my jungling? You know, how's my how's my jungling though? You know, pretty like, good actually. It, it was pretty You're good. Right? Was really good. Hey, that pretty funny though. Was she? I mean, after that twenty mark, minute mark, you know, it's kind of like downhill. But yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, mean, I was kind of hoping you guys would just run it down mid. You know, we I do. We, we we wanted to secure it with a soul within, especially with the infernal soul. We were trying to secure with the infernal soul before yeah. we made anything crazy, but. At the same time, we knew time was ticking. They were constantly scaling. It was kind of like a 50-50 chance that we took, and then it was, uh, yeah. That might have been my bad of a call, but listen, things happen, and uh, you grow. And uh, Jesus Christ, I don't even play jungle, so why am I even doing this? Yeah, <laughs> Anyways, sure. yes. No, thank but, you, you know, again, thank you for being here. We thank you for your time. Of course, you know, you of course. can go ahead. Um, and go back to your VC with your with your friends. I'll see you guys later because right, I asked you guys if you guys can just stay for a little bit after the stream. But you know, thank you again. And great performance to you guys. And you know, thank you, thank see you, you guys later. All right, and now you know, looking at this, you know, post game interview, we're gonna be waiting for RSG's MVP because we want to congratulate that person who performed exceptionally well. Again, we're gonna do honorable mentions for Ekium for staying up and being with us. Um, I know it's been rough for him, especially because of okay. time yeah his time zone man is i think it's currently like 8 a.m like he woke up at 7 a.m waited an hour because some of us arrived late and you know he was able to still make it and play with us which i appreciate i you know i appreciate him for um and finally looking at another thing uh, we also still have um v also fulfilling in i know she came in on short-term notice you know feels bad and whatnot i know it's, especially she comes in at the last game she did she played well she did her best you know to fill in and there's not much we can say other than you know honorable mention to her for coming in and filling in and you know taking the time out of her i'm sorry just something in my mouth <laughs> you know you know taking the time out and just joining with us but looking tony for you feeling what do you think da could have done um to actually to, you know if everything was if you could have picked up something what do you think they should you know should or should have not done so they could have got that huh. win that game I was just hoping that Lucian would have grouped a little more. He was kind of split pushing and like trying to make solo and duo plays with Seraphine and it wasn't really working out. And he was the win condition, I feel like. Do you really, um, for that, and um, and then the certain fights that they took, like for example, the one I mainly talk about, which is the Hera one, you know, Justin engaged on that one, and then... Um, oh yeah. Also, the uh, there is also the one on the the sky getting picked off too. That was pretty. That was pretty the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, so the Herald fight kind of like threw off their momentum. They were like doing really well before that, and then that kind of just led into like a whole um, chain of events where they kept losing advantages and losing fights. Mm -hmm. um, the one common factor was that Lucian wasn't there. Um, in most of the fights, he was kind of farming, and I I think it would have been different if he if he grouped. Got you. And looking at RSG, what do you think they did? What do you think? How do you think they they did? Um, you know, <laughs> they kind of just sat back. They just sat back, right? Like they weren't uh, <laughs> you know, they weren't they weren't worried. They weren't worried at all. Yeah. You know, like even after being down and stuff, and I felt like they were in such a good. You know, good. Even even being down, like I know for me, I would have like you know, I'm only in gold. I just hit re uh, gold recently, back like uh like just a couple of days ago and whatnot. But you know, being being you know, learning League of Legends, all that stuff, it's such a hard game to like mentally stay in it and then also try to come back as well. Especially you know, even if your team scale for like in general, like people who are in low elo, you know, including myself, obviously, it would look pretty rough. But you know they still they still hold on to it and they came back you know after having like you know a pretty rough start with the jungle with a little bit of jungle different early and yeah you know some kills and the the plays makings that um the da was doing early but you know they hold on to it they scaled pretty hard and then they end up getting all the drags all the infernos 
Um, taking out all the turrets and inhibitor. And finally, we got our MVP that RSG voted for. Um, and our MVP hey, for the <laughs> VLC Clash monkey. of 2021, it's Ekium. Ekium, are you here? Hello. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> you are the Good MVP afternoon. that your team selected. Monkey, everything, all that stuff. Good job, Ekium. Good job, Ekium. <laughs> Thank you. How do you... Ekium, I'm really happy. I, I was going to say, how do you... How do you feel being MVP and then at the same time your team coming back? Because you were there in the beginning, being down 2 0 yeah. and coming back 2 to 3. Well, the first two games were messy, but we, we had faith and Caleb. <laughs> faith and Caleb, that's all you need. Yes, that's all you need. Oh, <laughs> all we need is faith and Caleb. And, and also, I want to. Uh, Papa was also kind of MVP because his strat was to eat up all the bands for the first two games and then sub out so Caleb would throw off the enemy team's. Uh, strats oh. to <laughs> so uh, I also nominate Papa as MVP here. Also, Papa as MVP because well, he doesn't get included because he DC from the whole thing. <laughs> he was actually not even supposed, he he entered, supposed he, to he play hinted for the win. Um, yeah, and you know what? That's you know, that's good for you guys. I'm happy that you guys feel that way and all that stuff, and that's how you feel about Caleb coming in and all that. And how do you and all, what about your teammates? You know, how do you feel with them besides obviously Caleb and Papa? Oh. But they everyone played really well, like that game, like. We we knew like this last game we knew we were gonna be behind be behind for the first half of the game and we purposely like didn't pick any big fights we tried to play safe and everything I kind of ran it down a little bit because I got greedy for cannon minions but mm. other than that we played really safe and we just outscaled the hell out of them <laughs> yeah, and, we saw. and the Lulu pick like they tried to solo out the Nasus and then I out Nasus give him like a thousand extra health and shields and he just doesn't die yep. No, yep, and you and know, also vision, vision score diff, vision score diff, and you know what, <laughs> you guys, you guys play great. Um, you know we love it. You know again, especially you. You're gonna get an honorable mention anyways. But thank you for you know making you. time for us. I'm you know happy. You guys deserve it, especially you, Akim. You know we appreciate you staying with me. You know staying with everybody and you know working around it, especially when the time zone's so different. And it feels it feels great. It paid off. You guys win. You got the special roll and you get 15 bucks for whatever whatever you want to spend it on in League of Legends. Battle Academia, Caitlin. Um. Oh brother. Uh, but you know, thank you for your time. We appreciate it, Kim. Thank you for everything. Thank you, know, you. and also thanks to you for organizing everything. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, dude. <laughs> I appreciate yep, thanks, it. Alex. All right, man. Thank you, Tony. And you too, Tony. Thank you for casting. No problem. All right. Well, you, yeah, you can go ahead and go back celebrating with your teammate. I'll, again, I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, goodbye. So, yeah. All right. Goodbye. All right. And with that, that is the closing statement. And that is the closing of the whole VLC Clash 2021, you know, tourney. I think, Tony, thank you again for being here and, you know, sticking with yep. us. And, you know, being someone who also just came in recently, thank you for being the analyst and being more detailed, especially when, because I don't know any of, like, I can't go into that. I don't know, like. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know as much as in just reading what's going on, you know, narrating. But I appreciate you yeah, being no here, problem. taking time for it. Now you're great, man. Me. You're great, and you know you're welcome. And you know, whenever we do this again, hopefully you can be casting, or maybe, maybe you could probably be playing next time. Ooh, maybe I'll I would be like playing that. next time. Maybe I'll be playing next time. Maybe I will grief you. <laughs> maybe <laughs> I'm I... down. <laughs> we'll see. But you know what? Again, thank you, Tony, and again, thank you to everybody in the server. You know, I'm going to go off the list, you know, thank you to Caleb, Papa, Aichu, Volkron, Ekium, Sky, Josh, Justin, Taco, V, Loki, All-Star, you know, everybody, thank you all to you guys. And even Soundproof, who was also casting what us way ago. But, you know, thank you to all those guys who, you know, who participated in this and worked around it. And granted, you know, time delay and everything, you know, I appreciate it all. And, you know, I can't, and also obviously to the viewers, to anybody who's still watching, you know, especially viewers from the last stream when we did it last uh, last Saturday. You know, thank you to you guys for being part of us. You know, being part of us, supporting it, and you know, just being around. You know, we love you guys. We thank you for all that. And with that, that is going to be the closing of the whole VLC Clash 2021 tourney. And you know what? This was a pretty interesting tourney, going from two, a two-three comeback, a comeback. And that is something you know, I didn't I didn't predict that. I didn't think it was going to be that. I thought it was going to be one to one, but then this whole comeback happened. And it was pretty great, you know, content for the for the viewers. <laughs> and you know, with that, that is a uh, that's pretty much it. Tony, do you have any last words you want to say to everybody here? No, nope, I had a great time. Thanks for having me.
Yeah, no problem, man. And with that, that is the closing of the 2021 VLC Clash uh, Championship. Thank you guys again for being here, for being a part of us. And, you know, we hope you guys have a great day, a great morning, great night, whatever time you're watching this. And, you know, whenever we do this again, we'll make an announcement and all that. Thank you for all the people who follow, supported, and all that. But with that, my name is Alex. This was your uh, co-host as well, Tony. And to everybody else, thank you again. Have a good night. Have a good morning, wherever time you're watching this. And hope you guys have a great time, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye. No,